After I have obtained the frequency distribution, next I want to do a histogram. To do a histogram, I need to go to data, then click data analysis. You may not have this data analysis tool, so you must add in. Let me show you how to add in the data analysis tool. First, you go to file, and then you click Excel option. From the Excel option, you click Add In. From the Add In, select Analysis 2 Pack. Then click Go. Inside the Go, you must click Analysis 2 Pack, then OK. Then you'll see the Analysis 2 Pack. When you click data. This recording will show you how to create the histogram given the raw data in cell A1 to A96. As I entered the raw data, A1 to A96, and I create the classes 1 to 10, 11, 20, and so on until 91 to 100. And I found the frequency distribution earlier. Now, I want to create the histogram. In order to create the histogram, we must find the class boundaries first. So, uh, let's find the boundaries. The first class got a boundary 0 0.5, then 10.5. It's a boundary between 10 and 11. 10 and 11 are called class limit. Then, 20.5 is a boundary between 20 and 21. Then, 30.5. Then 40.5, then 50.5, then 60.5, then 70.5, then 80.5, then 90.5, then the last boundary is 100.5. So after I created the boundary already, I'm going to create the histogram. So to create histogram, what you do is select data, then data analysis. On the data analysis, you select histogram, then click OK. Then they'll ask you where are your data. So input data from cell A1 all the way to A96. So I drag them all the way to A96. That is my input data. Then the bin range. I'm going to use the class boundaries. The boundary I just entered is here from 0 0.5 to 100.5 class boundaries. I'm going to get a charge output. That means the histogram is a charge. So click charge output there. Then you click OK. So now the histogram appears. There are some gap in between there. So let me Remove the gap by select the bar, then right click, format data series, then select no gap, then close. So in this case, I have the histogram now, no gap in between, so I find that there are data, no data less than 10. Right, there are two data between 11 to 20 and three data between 21 to 30 and 11 data between 31 to 40. And this is what this number means. So if you want to see the this space, you can actually right click on the chart and then you say add data label then you'll see the number appear. That is the end of this recording showing you how to construct the histogram.